Hello and welcome to Yetham Village Gardens situated here at the north end of the Pennine Way. We hope to take you through a variety of different gardens to include formal Victorian, landscaped, free and easy and French style. I hope you enjoy our virtual tour. In this formal Victorian garden, the borders are framed with box hedges. The bottom herbaceous border just now has a ribbon of red poppies and one or two peony roses just under the apple tree. We also have some yellow roses and lavender ready to burst into bloom. Welcome to my small cottage garden. This garden is stuffed full of plants of lots of colours, scents, texture, evergreen or deciduous. I'd like to emphasise my anthurinums. Uh, some of them are three years old, believe it or not. I take seeds uh, of the colours I like and uh, I like sowing seeds of all sorts of things. Aquilegia is another thing. I like the plants like uh, orchids here, which flower for about six weeks. And then even in winter I have colour because many plants are deciduous but stem colour. And also plants with variegated leaves and evergreen.
Hello and welcome to Mayflower House. We moved in here about seven years ago, having built the house on a half acre brownfield site that had been occupied by a dairy cattle building, the concrete base of which extended right across most of the level area. We garden organically using no pesticides nor chemical fertilisers. We compost extensively and produced our plant food from a comfy patch. Our intention was to make an attractive, wildlife friendly environment, for example by planting a mixed native hedge, bee friendly flowering plants, providing a small pond and installing bird and bat boxes. So far we have attracted 48 species of birds, 13 of wild mammals, 3 of amphibians and uncounted smaller creatures. We also produce a fair amount of food from 5 large raised vegetable beds, a soft fruit patch, a small orchard and a terraced area currently planted with potatoes, squashes and beans. Please enjoy your virtual visit. Hello and welcome to Rosebank. When my wife and I arrived here two years ago, this garden was something of a wilderness. There are people who would look around and say that that is still the case today. But we are trying very hard to create a nice garden here, a garden that people can enjoy. When we arrived in the village, we were told that the garden at Rosebank is a wild garden. And that is something that we are quite happy to maintain going forward. It is very much a work in progress. 
But then I guess every garden is a work in progress. I do hope you enjoy your virtual visit, but perhaps more importantly, I hope you will be able to enjoy a personal visit 12 months from now in 2021. Do enjoy your visit.